Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use YouTube API to build YouTube viral video search engine. We are going to start by creating a new project in the Google Developer Console. So I'm just going to choose a name, viral videos, and we'll add the default project ID. Okay, can close this. Now you have to enable the YouTube API. To do that, just search for YouTube Data API v3 to go to the button. Okay, it's enabled. Now to make requests to the servers, we have to get a public key. So to do that, we go to credentials and click create new key. In our case, browser key. We'll leave that empty for now. Okay, and this is the key. We can copy that for later. Back to the web page, you can see that I already started to work. I've got a basic HTML5 structure with my search input and the div where we'll put the results. I have used Twitter Bootstrap and also added some rules of my own. For the JavaScript, I loaded jQuery, app.js that is currently empty, and also the Google API JavaScript client library. To check when the API is ready, we can add an optional parameter with a callback function. I'm just going to call it init and put it in there. That's where we're going to set our API key. gapi.client.set API key. Okay, and also load the YouTube library. So YouTube version 3. And we can also add a callback function. So in here's the YouTube API is ready. We can now start listening on the form submission. So form that on submit function e we're going to start with e the prevent default to stop the default behavior submission and then start preparing the request for the YouTube API. Their request, the GAPA, the client, that YouTube, the search, dot list, and here our parameters. So we're going to check the documentation, search list, so it's a get request, the so career there is only one required parameter, so part and the value must be snippet. So part snippet, no codes here. Sorry, okay. Then other parameters are the type of result. We're going to choose video. Type here, and then of course the queue for the search string that is basically our search input value that we have to encode. Encode URI component that's native JavaScript function. also convert all the ASCII spaces so replace 20 by plus and then I'm just going to add additional parameters you can see that there are a lot of them so max results to limit the number of results we need to put 3, we can also order by view count because we want the most viewed video 
and finally published after to get only the video published in 2015 midnight okay we should be good then we're going to execute this request to do that we just do request the execute function result response and we're gonna log that to see what it contains so just the response okay so we're going to refresh the page open the console and search for something phone cat okay we got a response so it contains result and items so here we have our items so I'm just going to take that for result equal response dot result and then for each result function index item we need to load that for the blog item the item that's it Holy cat okay here we have our three videos so what we need is the id to display the video so it's in item.id.video id and then the title it's item.snippet.title okay so we're just going to put that quickly in the results upon we said item that ID dot video ID that's okay plus item dot snippet dot title yeah. test that okay you can close that find a cat okay we got our three videos now what we want is to display them so I'm going not, I'm not going to put the HTML in the JavaScript that's dirty. So I just made a file that called item.html with the HTML structure of my video, so the iframe. And then I've got tags between double brackets for the video ID and for the title. So we're going to load that with jQuery. Okay, I'm just going to comment that then get it's in tpl item html function data okay and then we can open that for testing results append data Okay, just get. And here you can see that we've got our videos, but we have to replace the values. And to do that, I'm actually going to use tpelo sum. It's on my GitHub. It's a basic function with two parameters. The first one is the HTML with the tags and the double brackets, and then a JSON data to replace this case with the values so I'm just going to take directly the modified version okay I just copy that and put it at the top and now we can use it there it runs tplo some data and and our data as JSON 
So we add the title and the video ID. Just going to take that, take that, and I can remove this line now. And this should be it. Okay, I'm missing a parenthesis. We can try this. I refresh the page. Make sure Frank. Okay, it seems to work. So one last thing I wanted to do is making the website responsive. So I'm just going to add a new function. Reset video as. I'm going to change through eight of all the videos. Else, okay. I uh, class video, and this is going to be the width of results multiplied by. Then sixteenths to keep the ratio, and I'm going to call that after adding all of these. One thing I forgot also is to reset the content of the results. Okay, and I'm also going to add to call this one when the window is resized. On resize. Okay, we can try. Trying. Search. And that's it. So that was a quick example of what you can do with the YouTube Data API. And just one last more thing. With senior user referrers, these are actually for preventing other websites to use your client API key. You just have to put your domain in there. So, for example, your domain.com slash the joker, and this will allow any pages in your domain to use this client API key, but not others. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video. Bye.